Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. The whole purpose of the exercise is to ensure that our standing orders guide our activities. Honorable Speaker, the issue before us is about bill. And it is clearly stipulated understanding what is 66, the stages of a bill. It tells us that following the first reading, of course, after the first reading, we know that we move to the second stage. But if we put an end at the first reading and say we stop there, then the business of the state will cease. That is not rational. That is why our standing orders is very clear on the stages. These are the stages that it should take. It says that the second reading A, a general debate on the bill with an opportunity for members to vote on the general principles. You go to the next stage, we vote on the general principles. You can say, no, we can even reject the general principle, but does not stop the process from continuing. The process must still go to the other stages. And the other stages is, we may commit the state, detailed investigation into the bill, etc. cetera. We, we, we commit it. And then we go to the next stage, consideration stage. Then the third reading, passing or rejecting the bill without further amendment. So it is the third stage that we can reject, that we don't have to go any further. It is clearly stipulated that at the third stage, we may continue, we may reject. So, Honorable Speaker, uh, there is absolutely no doubt that the issue of 67 and 61 simply tells us what should happen. That there must be a secondment of a motion, if there is a motion. But look at this motion regarding the bill. The motion is for the second reading, and that is second. So should we, as National Assembly members, block that? We should not go to the next stage. When our standing orders is saying, following first reading, the stages in the Assembly's consideration of bill shall be, shall, shall be, the third person, shall be means that it must go through all the stages. Which lawyer in this, on this earth will question what is clearly stipulated here, second stage, that following first reading, following first reading, the stages in the Assembly's consideration of a bill shall be. So, Honorable Speaker, that's just emphasis for everybody to hear that. The grammatical, ordinary meaning of shall be is a command of a standing order. It must go through those stages. And Honorable Speaker, we are just simply drowning each other's senses. And that's what we should not do. We are trying to help each other to understand what we should do. And my last submission, Honorable Speaker, is 67. Honorable Speaker, 67, on a motion being moved that a bill be read a second time, the general principle, uh, general merits and principles of the bill may be debated. Yes, if you introduce a motion that let's refer it to something, you know, we may consider the motion that a member makes without notice. That, that is possible. That's why it's not saying shall, because this is left to us to see whether we can have a motion for something else to be done. So, Honorable Speaker, 67.2 is saying if the motion is carried, which motion? Ask yourself the question, which motion is being said here? The clerk shall read out the short title of the bill and shall declare it to have been read a second time. That is after the debate. The clerk will read that it has been read a second time. That is, Honorable Speaker, it is saying, 
if the motion is carried, which motion? After the second, when it says the second, it says 60, 66, it says, following the first reading, the stages in the Assembly's consideration of the bill shall be, the second reading, a general debate on the bill with an opportunity for members to vote on the general principles. That is, when that vote is carried, then the reading comes. When the vote is carried after the debate, then it is accepted. The clerk will read that it has been read a second time. That is the correct interpretation of this provision. Members, at this stage, I am not taking the correct position, so otherwise I am taking observations from honorable members so that at the end of the day, honorable member for Big Kamano, please don't allow me to, don't let me, you know, get out of order. my patience and exercise, please. The essence is for me to take as many in, um, observations as possible so that we'll do the right thing. So please, let us all exercise decorum, as I said earlier on. Nominated member, Honorable Jaite, please. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, um, my apologies for being out of order, but I just can't help it when injustice is being defended. I have sometimes it's necessary to get out of order. Honorable Speaker, what is in our laws is very, very, very... Sorry, very can, I, can I take you? Did you say justice out of order or what? Please, can you withdraw, if that was what you said? No, Honorable That's Speaker, I don't think you are listening to me properly. If you said justice well, out I, of order, I would I demand that be withdrawn before we I proceed. She did not even hear what I said, Honorable Speaker. Honorable I would Speaker, demand I it. Said, uh, I said if injustice is being defended, I can't help but get out of order. Standing, we have to exercise decorum. We have parliamentary decorum. Honorable we can't Speaker. be shouting. You wouldn't Out like it if somebody interrupts you now that you are on your feet. You wouldn't like it. So let's also allow others to be on their feet uninterrupted. Please. Honorable Speaker, to me, the law is very, very clear. There are processes and procedures that have to be followed. There are processes in this parliament. The reason why the motion or the question was put to us is for us to decide whether we want to debate on the merits of this bill or not. If we do not want to debate on the merits of this bill, no one can force us to debate on the merits of this bill. Sometimes it is rest if a liquid or the thing speaks for itself. If we look at the bill, if we look the at procedure. the bill from the first reading, and the speaker, I think all the members are getting out of order, maybe we should call them out too. If we look at the if Order. we look at the objects of the bill through the first reading and it speaks for itself that it is not worth considering the merits of the bill, we have every right not to entertain the debate. It is our right. Point of order. We Point of order, ma'am. For the question to Point of order. To us, like to ask us whether Point of order. Point of order. Point of, Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. It has been the process of this. Point process. of order, ma'am speaker. Whether we want to debate or not. Why is the question being put? It's very simple. Why would anyone put a question to ask you what your opinion is if that is not even necessary in the first place? Why are we being asked to vote whether we want to entertain a debate or not? Honorable Speaker, point of order, please. If you are so convinced that Honorable you Speaker, point of order. Point of order. Yes, vote. Let's put this to a vote. The question, Honorable Speaker, I think the question is on the floor and there is a division and we should go through the entire process before we entertain anything, and the law is very clear as it stands, and no other interpretation can change it. Thank you. The law, of order, read the order. orders. Why are we afraid to debate on this issue? Let us just debate. Don't you have anything substantial to say? We have to debate. Why are you afraid to debate? Oh, they, want to, they don't want to continue with the matter. Then we have to put it to the vote. If majority say no, we are not going to move with this issue, it should be dropped. It's simple. And if you go to section... Um, uh, of our standing order. It said, one, 
when the motion has been moved and seconded to the assembly, the speaker shall put the question there onto the assembly in the same terms as the motion. Debate may then take place upon the question and may continue so, so long as any member wishes to speak who is entitled to do so. So now it's put to us and we say no. So who, 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 who are you to force us? Let us put it to vote. If you win, we continue. If you, if you win, we stop. That means that, that means majority don't want it to move. It's very simple.